Extrafy is potentially my favorite project when it comes to DeFi and when it comes to both base chain and optimism. Now, I've said this time and time again, and I guess you could see based on the contents I produce on Extrafy, you could get a hint that this is a project I really like. And this is actually one of the core contributors to the numerical project that I have launched, where basically uh, a lot of the yield that is flowing back to users is coming from. Now, it's been a few months since I covered the metrics and metrics are something that not many uh, YouTube channels talk about. So you will go and see, you know, like titles of high APRs, so on and so forth. But not many people look at what's going on underneath because like it or not, Actify has a token. And the underperformance of the token that has recovered quite nicely now. So if you go to the chart, you will see that for the past month, the token has recovered really nicely all the way back to $0.10, almost $11. But all of this, you know, isn't possible without the performance of the underlying protocol. And those metrics that I'm going to share with you right now are things that, like I said, you cannot find on other YouTube channels, unfortunately, because all they do is just gaslight you and then simply uh, clickbait you into something that in most cases doesn't exist. All right, so this is where you'll get these things. So let's look at some of the data that not many people tend to consider. Now, last time I did talk about uh, the token, specifically when it comes to Extrafy, we have to look at how it's distributed and how is that distribution working. There are two ways other than demand and supply that will propel the token up when it comes to price action. How much of the token is being burned? Remember, the token is being distributed on a weekly basis to stakers. And also how much of these new extra or whatever extra is bought on the market is actually being locked put in the staking contract to take advantage of the premium features because remember you need 10,000 V extra tokens so 10,000 extra tokens locked for maximum duration to take care of extra leverage and to uh, take uh, advantage of premium borrowing so more borrowing than what the average user is getting without that 10,000 V extra now comparing like I said the supply uh, burning mechanism and the lockup supply mechanism compared that to my video a few months ago you can clearly see that there is about 65% increase in lock supply which is amazing and that's in the span of approximately two months and burning has also increased by 15% which is also quite decent so these two metrics are moving up and they're moving up nicely now, another one to consider in parallel with locking up those extra tokens is that for how long are these tokens being committed? Dune Analytics is a really nice way to visualize things like this. So I use it quite often to see on-chain movements overall. And just looking at this bar chart, you can clearly see that most people, so that big candle right here, is all the wallets that locked off for maximum duration, which is a bit more than 4.8 years. So remember, max duration is uh, all the way to approximately the end of uh, 25. All right, so one year more or less. And you can clearly see that people have been locking up their tokens all the way till then, based on this, you know, big candle right here apologies i did say 4.8 years but that was referring to something else but at the end of the day you have a growth in burning and you have a growth in staking extra meaning you have more users coming in you have more people committing their tokens to take advantage of those premium features now how is tvl performing overall DeFi llama is a good place for you to check you know, TVL growth and volume growth. Now, volume growth doesn't make sense because Extrafy is built on top of Villadrum and Aerodrum, Optimism versus Base, and it's only leveraging those platforms by taking money from lenders, giving it to borrowers, increasing their positions, paying lenders, so on and so forth. So there's no volume. TVL is a good, uh, is a good place to look at things. So I'm going to quickly look at uh, Optimism. So Optimism is at the lower end right now because the overall chain is approximately 
at about minus 70 percent of the base chains total value locked so again if you scroll back down you can clearly see that xfi has actually for the last month has actually lost about 16 percent 16.02 percent to be exact of its total tvl compare this to velodrome so because you know they are highly correlated and you can clearly see that okay sure velodrome has dropped by seven percent but xfi a bit more and that could be justified by the fact that velo has been underperforming now recently it did rise a bit but for the past month it has been underperforming and probably the gains on xfi were not as justified anymore and people removed or closed their positions so that makes sense remember these two platforms are correlated so they both dropped extra five a bit more because you're leveraging so there's a bit more risk all right so i think the uh the movement here is quite natural on the base side you should see an increase which you do extra five is actually the third in terms of total dvl which is quite impressive now again same logic sure both aerodrome and extra five grew but aerodrome grew larger and that makes more sense of course because it's 10 times larger than one extra five is overall and at the end of the day extra five has limitations and those limitations are the lending pools because the only way for you to enter extra five the only way that makes sense at least is to actually leverage your position right so you come here when you want to enter a farming position and you click on it you see that leverage so anything that at 1x doesn't make sense you go directly to the underlying platform 2x and above you can do this right here and like i said if you cannot borrow funds from the lending pools meaning you are tapped out meaning you cannot open a position even and that's the biggest limitation that this protocol has they do keep on increasing credit limits for premium borrowers so for people who have 10,000 v extra but at the end of the day this doesn't seem to be enough all those increases in credit limits are immediately being sucked out by users so people are just eagerly waiting the moment there is extra lending capacity they snatch it out and that's something quite apparent so aerodrome can keep growing but extra five stops growing if there aren't more people lending out their uh their dollars for people you know to borrow them and make that extra yield and to be completely fair, because they also changed the way their lending models uh, works, those percentages on, for example, lending USDC are not as attractive as they used to be, even though a 12% on just putting your USDC in is quite nice. I do agree. But if you play your cards right, you can get more. And that's one of the biggest reasons why those lending pools are, you know, dried out. And there is not much USDC or new USDC coming in. So... I feel like unless those lending rewards increase from external factors as well, because remember, they do uh, keep getting grants from Optimism, so they are giving OP on top or extra even on top sometimes, but unfortunately to this moment, it's still not enticing enough to attract more lenders. I'm sure they're going to do more competitions because that's what they want now. So for the protocol to increase its overall TVL, you need to have new lenders so it's been hovering around that 130 mil overall of tvl for the past couple of months um yeah so the upside potential like i said is heavily limited and overall on their discord if you you know you're keeping up you will see that they're always do updates for their pools the extra rewards that they're getting they add competitions they do snapshots and changes of their protocol revenue schemes and all of these things so the guys are super active they have their native liquidity pairs this is on both aero and velodrome and they're trying their best to give the best yield possible for both lenders and borrowers i would argue that borrowers right now at least are winning the war i guess between lenders and borrowers but they take on more risk so remember that always when you have leverage included means there's more risk included one last thing i want to say is that this was a mention at the beginning of the video that numerical our project all links will be below by the way if you want to check it out leverages extra fi and we do have access to those premium features because the protocol has 10,000 v extra meaning if you want to take advantage of these features and you don't want to market buy for 1000 usdc and the cost won't be justified for you potentially numerical 
would expose you to these features without you buying anything. All you need to do, deposit USDC and take advantage of the backend strategies. Lots of information on this, by the way. I would recommend you to watch the videos on YouTube, to read the good book, to check the website, to check the Telegram channel and the Discord channel. All right. With that, see you in the next one. Have a good one.